Hello friends, today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of a DHgate replica Tottenham 2022-2023 home kit. I ordered the jersey through DHgate about one month ago and it just arrived. It came in a small bag-like packaging, which I can't show because as my personal information, but within that packaging was the shirt in this clear zip-top bag. Right off the bat, no media errors stand out, and honestly looks really good. Uh, let's take a closer look. Starting off with the neck and sleeves, I like the detail. Uh, the collar's rounded with a striping pattern that's spaced just like the authentic jersey. Inside the collar is the design that has spurs repeated over and over. That's a nice touch. And the replica matches the authentic version exactly. Uh, the design's also in the sleeves as well. Those are stitched very nicely, feels quite sturdy. And it's the same thing in the other sleeve, with the nice striping and the spurs patterning on the inside. The subtle texture of the shirt feels pretty good. This is probably the biggest difference between the real jersey and the replica. The light pattern on this replica is raised, and it makes the shirt feel a lot more interesting compared to just if the shirt were a plain lily white t-shirt but it's not as intricate as the authentic version. Uh, here, I'll do a picture-in-picture -picture comparison when I'm editing so you can see what I'm talking about. On the authentic version, the texture creates a pattern that looks almost like chevrons kind of pointing in towards the crest, but this is very subtle. In contrast, this version looks like it has light texture throughout that doesn't really contribute to the larger pattern. I still think it looks nice and most people wouldn't be able to tell that it was a replica, but people who know a lot about jerseys could probably tell. The shirt's very light and breezy. As you can see, it's a little bit see-through, but this isn't an actual issue when wearing the shirt. The thinness doesn't show anything, it just is mostly to make it very comfortable to wear. In the front, ah, you can see right here, it's a little bit dirty, but I know that will come out after the first wash. The Nike logo and Tottenham badge are stitched on. It's very quality stitching and it's all stitched on straight. Uh, I ordered the fan version, which has the stitched badges. It's just personal preference as I think that looks a lot nicer. It's higher quality, it lasts longer. Um, but if you were to order a player version, also called the elite version, the shirt would be slightly thinner and lighter material. And these logos would probably be rubber heat pressed on. The front sponsor here is heat pressed on. It's very good quality. Um, all these logos and badges on the front are well done. With the replica jerseys, this is usually the thing that gives it away. But here, the manufacturer did a fantastic job ensuring the spacing was correct, that everything was on straight, and that the stitching was quality. Um, the cinch sleeve sponsor, heat pressed on, straight, well attached, good spacing. And same with the Premier League badge, it's good. Uh, at the bottom of the shirt, it's a good, clean hemline. Uh, there's a little Nike authentic patch that's pressed on... Yep, yeah, it's pressed, not stitched. Uh, still good quality. Uh, on the back of the shirt, you might notice that I ordered it to have Romero 4, uh, even though Romero is actually just switched to number 17. Um, that's because I ordered the kit before his new kit number was officially announced, so it's still the old version. Uh, I'll probably end up getting a new version with the correct number in the future, but I don't mind having the old number on it. It's fun and funky. The line across the top looks really nice with the name, the way it's kind of arced together. It's a good clean line to just add a little bit something that your eye can catch instead of it just being a plain white t-shirt again. Here's a closer look at the lettering. There are no mistakes that I can see. It's heat pressed on perfectly. The number looks great too. It's just wrinkled because of the packaging but that'll come out. And the numbering even has that little Premier League line at the bottom. Here's a closer look at the back of the collar. And in case you're curious, the shirt also comes with these little cardboard tags. Nothing too fancy, but it is nice. Uh, inside... 
and just like the sponsor in the front, this is heat pressed on. Inside, the collar has the spur spur spurs. All the stitching is very high quality. There are few to no loose threads, and I'm not worried at all about it coming undone. It's very well done, I'm very impressed. I actually had to size up one size. Uh, DHgate generally makes shirts that are a lot smaller or tighter than traditional sizing in Europe or America. So just check out the sizing charts on the website and if you're unsure, just size up. Overall, it was a really great purchase. I know from experience that these things fit really well. Uh, it's almost impossible to tell the difference between this and an authentic version. Like I said, all of the logos, badges, names, everything was stitched or heat pressed on straight with really good spacing. The only way somebody could tell it was a replica compared to an authentic version is if they were to really look at the texturing, but you'd have to get pretty close for that. And I think most people wouldn't be able to tell anyways. Uh, I'm actually thinking about buying another in the future to get the correct number for Romero and would almost certainly order from the same shop again. I think the design itself looks very clean and would be easy to wear around casually, and I'm very satisfied with the purchase. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed.